Yeah. All that right. Shit. We're rolling. Do we even know what, what episode up, this dude? is? Yo. You can see my hand twice. Yo. Yay. Lame Yo. Dudes Podcast. Yo. Um, episode. The Estranged Podcast returns. Yeah. Long awaited. We all got Coming COVID. Back. Coming back like your dad after the fucking. We have two episodes we never posted. <laughs> no way, dude. We're two episodes deep. Yeah, we we got two episodes that I just didn't ever post, partially just because of like being depressed, but them? also just like I thought they were kind of shit. Yeah, so, dude, those are fire episodes. Should we should we just post them with like parentheses lost ep at the end or something? Yeah. No, here's what we'll we're do. gonna. Let's I think one. we should post this one first, and then post the other ones as lost steps. You know what I mean? I, I like agree. That. No, but we want the most relevant one up. You know, out. Obviously yeah, exactly. Relevant. You know, up to date topics. But right. We should save those for a, a tier on our Patreon, dude. Totally. The lost Patreon tier. Coming. Are not Patreon coming Patreon. very soon. Very soon. Dude, you know we <laughs> fell off when the last the last. Uh, video i upload i didn't even make a thumbnail for it <laughs> yeah holy shit i noticed that too i was so like god know, he doesn't give a fuck <laughs> but like i don't blame you because life has been bad for everyone so yeah hey, man, it sucks. We, we don't make shit off these we're doing it for fun so you fucking appreciate it yeah we we're doing this like... we're doing this because we like do it like uh, that, that, that. We, we like, like do it we like do we like it we're, we're not doing it because it's our job so we don't we took a long break. Just yeah. three dudes and that's, chilling in the that's the way she fucking goes. I took a long break. You guys could have kept doing it, but yeah. what are we gonna do it by ourselves? Could have, yeah, honestly, horrible, yeah. Dude. You have you all the account been... access. It'd just be me and Jackson talking about World of Warcraft for yeah. an hour. <laughs> 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 that that anyway. might be literally better than this podcast because you're at least <laughs> talking about a specific topic. It would just be so funny, like you'd be like, Oh dude, new lame dudes is up. Let me check it out. You like goes Listen to the start. He's like, all right, it's a lot of wow talk. Maybe I'll skip ahead. Yeah, they're really talking about Damn, it. what does patch 9.0 meta mean when it's in a podcast title? <laughs> the timestamp is like from zero to the end. It's just wow talk. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, wait a minute. <laughs> oh, oh we man. There's like 30 it. seconds of destiny at the end. Yeah, did you guys hear we It's like a classic it. lame dudes. <laughs> we certainly have enough to complain about it in a while, but we won't, we won't do it to you. <laughs> we won't do it to you, though. Uh, I'd, love to, I'd love to do a Destiny segment, because he's been doing big stuff lately uh, in Georgia. I don't know if you guys saw that. No. So he, obviously, massive race in Georgia recently that the Dems swept like fucking bosses, dude. Let's go, Dems. <laughs> Took the Senate. Um, but Destiny was out there for weeks beforehand, bringing in all his fans and canvassing, like, door-to-door, dude. He said anybody who comes in, he puts them up in a hotel. And like sets them up to actually okay. canvas for these candidates. Wait, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. You're yep, saying yep, Destiny yep. does this? Destiny, the streamer, the guy who loves black people. <laughs> yes, yes. Uh, As we know, to Georgia went to Georgia. He will put you in a hotel if you canvas. Yeah, he would have. He would have paid for your hotel if you went. Oh to my god! Why didn't I do he, that? He got hundreds of people to come out, dude. And you know, yeah. Oh, you never know if it made a difference, but we fucking won, so. Yeah, he absolutely did. I, yeah. Actually, I mean, are we are we going in a politics pod right now? Straight in. Politics. Are we are we doing the Straight politics in. pod? All right. Yeah. Here's my hit on the fuck the DSA. Just gonna come out and say it. You know, from a yeah. from a from a on paper standpoint, I am a member of the DSA, but I'm not actually a member of the DSA. But also, the fact that the DSA literally only cares about like mean people like that basically wait, wait so the dsa had an opportunity to like work with destiny i don't know if you heard about this i don't think so basically wow. a bunch of people tweeted at destiny and they were like or tweeted at the dsa and they were like destiny's like a fucking nazi blah 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 all this <laughs> shit because because that's the thing though is like and that's a huge issue that we have right now is that if you're, like, mean and hurt people's feelings, it doesn't care what your, like, opinion yeah. on things are. You're literally a fascist or a Nazi or a racist or whatever. And, like, you, you, I would say probably in... incest one time and they just get you for the rest of your life, dude. Come on. Come yeah. on, man. <laughs> Come on. But, like, I, yeah. I would say the case of that is true, like, probably half the time. 
where it's like Basically, there's a good pu- go ahead uh, go ahead <laughs> it's the whole purity test thing dude which the left does all the time right so it's yeah. like these people are allies with you in 95 percent of like what you actually want to do but mm-hmm. because you know i don't know misgendered or whatever social infraction they've done in the past mm-hmm. they're gone forever it's it's bad dude that's how you alienate people exactly like- yes thank you i'm so fucking sick of like people are like fuck that guy he's a blah 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 and it's like yes like yeah he is that person and i don't like that but like what if we didn't alienate that person and we were like hey this is wrong here's why and they're actually convinced you know what i yep. mean like and and like especially after we got really fucking lucky this year i think and i think it's because centrist voters realize what a dumb fucking decision they made voting for trump but um ultimately like we alienate more people than we like recruit you know what i mean and i don't know i just feel like yeah it's okay to like be like that person's a piece of shit um but like I feel like most people who are not public figures and have those viewpoints are just influenced by that piece of shit. You know what I mean? And you can easily influence them back to like a correct way of thinking that's like normal yeah. and like respects like human rights and shit. You know what I mean? <laughs> Crazy idea. And I, and I think you see that <laughs> happening, especially now on Twitch for a long time, dude, there at least the whole train wrecks crowd was just like, such a bad influence on like young male minds i feel like oh yeah Just totally absolutely hating women dude yeah them and shit. But, yeah. I, but nowadays i'm seeing a lot of that turn around where like the language people use is a lot more responsible mm-hmm. which, uh, you know i'm happy to see <clears throat> i mean i'd women, even though. say i'd even say <laughs> i'd even say specifically with train wrecks he's trying i th- i think that dude train wrecks is literally he's trying harder to like not come off as the fucking incel face of Twitch. So that's good. Probably good, yeah. <laughs> it's pretty hard just looking but, at his face, you know? <laughs> yeah, did I Did I ever... Fit, basically, yeah, the DSA was just like, oh, Destiny's mean, we won't canvas with him. And it's like, he brought a significant amount of people. Like, definitely more yeah. people than the DSA could bring to Georgia. Hundreds of people, yeah. Yeah, easily. Like, the DSA is not nearly as powerful as it used to be. So, yeah, yeah, I don't know. That shit's whack. And I think we're really lucky that there was a blue wave this year. Uh, yeah. <laughs> because well, I think I think after years of the Dems, you know, eating our own and just, you know, being horrible uh, for actually convincing people, I think finally that's swinging. And, like, in the last couple of weeks, dude, the Republican Party is just, like, imploding on itself. Yeah, like, no they don't know what to what do with the themselves. Next- what is the next candidate for the Republicans going to look like? Because it's either going to be like, full it's going to be another crazy guy. Train. Right. That's one yeah. option. Or they can try to go back to like the, Oh, we're not horrible people. We're just like fiscally conservative, which was bullshit the whole time, but they can, they try to put up the front. Right. Mm-hmm. So it's going to be very interesting. Which one of those strategies ends up winning out. All right. I feel so like they're crazy Trumpers. This just, <laughs> this idea just popped in my brain, Yeah. but this is going to, I'm going to make this call. And I'm going to say it in the sense that I am forcing us to upload this podcast as soon as possible because I need to be the first person on record on the internet to make this call. Mm -hmm. Trump's going to run again in 2024 under the, like, guys that, like, Biden, literally the exact same way that he ran against Hillary and Obama. He's just going to go look at how, you know, look at the stock market since biden got elected you know he's gonna do shit like that he's we are this is my claim we are in danger of this dude running again and winning absolutely winning again yeah i think it'll i think it'll absolutely happen if he has if he has three years off and he goes guys i've been out of the public eye for three years look at what i've done to change that will make the centrist voters like me better this time He's absolute. Like, he's the perfect. He's perfect. It's crazy that he crap. can be like uh, that. He can even run again after being impeached. It seems like a. He's been. He's uh, he's about to be impeached a second time now. Yeah, round two for he, the guy. He's the two yeah. time, dude. Yeah, which is like just 
fucking astonishing. But um, for me, <laughs> couldn't get him out. Should couldn't we talk? Out, should yeah. we talk about impeachment? This is this is a special ed class discuss uh, politics episode two. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> the least nuanced takes ever, <laughs> dude. How? Uh, actually, I don't remember what I was gonna ask. Never mind. <laughs> uh, well, I watched I watched some of the actual like impeachment process. Dude. Do you think it yeah. would be kind of hype, right? Like the president's getting fucking impeached. No, it's it's the most boring stream you could possibly. Oh imagine. yeah, yeah. So that was oh, that God. that was what I was gonna bring up. Why I go on like I, I'm on many websites. I'm too online, right? Very Every, online, everywhere I go, I'm seeing the fucking moderate libs, right? Libs, that's man. that's like 90 percent of people moderate libs um whether they know it or not but um there's one in this call right now yeah probably me but um <laughs> 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 like never mind i don't remember now cool, what'd you dude. what'd you that's say what'd you say before just how boring the impeachment proceedings are yeah okay okay uh sorry i I'm stoned and drunk. This is going very well. So yeah, this is going great. I'm a fucking pro podcaster, but um, keep going, keep going young Joe. <laughs> dude, I I literally feel like Joe Biden right now. Um, <laughs> I meant Joe Rogan. <laughs> I understand. What just you forgetting dude. forgetting everything right now. Uh, speaking of which, I was gonna send you guys this picture real quick. This is relevant, so I'll send it to you guys. But keep going. Okay, uh, okay. Like how? Like we are pretty much. We're we're now less as of today that we're recording this. It's the fourteenth. We're now less than a week away from in, from uh, inauguration. Why are we yeah. spending time impeaching this dude when? What? Yeah. Like we know it's not like he's going to be kicked out of office. Like we're not going to get a five day head start on Joe Biden, and like I just don't I don't get it. Is there beyond just shaming this person? Yeah. Which is like deserved. Like, what is the point of impeaching Trump at this point for a second time? So, so first of all, I really like this uh, pick, Hunty Sen. It's just a great picture of Joe. This is a this is a um a coloring book that someone got at my work. That's just hot pictures of Joe Biden. God, he looks good, dude. He looks really good. That is a hot hot pick, dude. Great pick, Joe. Honestly. (laughs) So that exists, like, in the place you work? That, that's real, yeah. Nice. You should color. Do a couple colorings and send me a pic. <laughs> Dude, it's, uh, like, him doing crazy shit, just, like, like, like pouring coffee or going wakeboarding or, like, fighting a bear. I mean, that's crazy. crazy. I mean, that's, like, Trump level of, like... Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's no, almost... I'm, that's, like, I'm sure there's a Trump level of, uh, <laughs> <laughs> of, like, political, like, theater. Um, but going back to what Zach was saying, I, this is obviously very hotly debated right now. Like, mm-hmm. the other impeaching him right now, obviously it's not really going to go through. So what's the point? I'm almost in the, I'm kind of in the camp that it's like you need to put a precedent down that like no matter what, it doesn't matter how few days he has left. It doesn't matter like what's going on in the rest of the world. Like, if the president acts this way, he will get impeached. I think that's important. Uh. I think you have a good point there, actually. I I kind of agree with that. I hadn't thought of it from that point of view. It's like um, you ha- you have they have to be held to account, even if our system is so fucked up that he really won't have any punishment. In the to me, that. my my train of thought was just like, all right, we already won. What like what else do we want? Like Joe Biden is going to be the president on January twentieth. Can we just fucking like? stop talking about this piece of shit but i do see that like for the future especially because i just said for 2024 a crazy guy and even crazier guy will run for 2024 that's my claim don jr um literally like any jake paul logan paul like one of those (laughs) one of those fucking dudes will fucking run i'm not even kidding kanye like Con- Kanye tried, dude. Nobody gave a fuck about him. Kanye like keeps trying, and he's gonna keep trying. And like, eventually, everyone said no one give a fuck about Trump, and he became president. So don't Ooh. fucking discount Kanye, because people are stupid. Kanye's in a bad way, man. It fucking Kim just dumped him. Yeah, I saw that. He's got Jeffrey Star to fall back on, dude. <laughs> yeah. 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 All right. They probably cuddle. <laughs> you know they'll cuddle, dude. YouTube fleshlight, Jeffrey Star. 
Oh my god, dude! YouTuber doesn't it, doesn't everyone fucking go gay for Jeffrey Star? At some point well, or another, doesn't it, I thought he tried to convince the him lame dudes are all the lame dudes are gonna have a fucking group sex sesh with <laughs> Jeffrey Star before we get our on, before we get our Jeffrey. YouTube play button. <laughs> We're not I hitting think, 100k think... subs before we suck off <laughs> Jeffrey Star. Jeffrey, Jeffrey Star has like the most connections in the YouTube world, dude. He has collabed with every motherfucker on the platform. He's gotta yeah. have some dirt. Like there, I mean, there must be, be some. Drama. Oh yeah, 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 totally, dude. Yeah, Jeffrey yeah, Star, yeah, yeah. Jeffrey Star is the Galen Maxwell of YouTube. <laughs> yes, that's what I'm saying, dude. Yeah, he's yeah, got, yeah. He knows everything. Backroom picks or something, you know. Mm. Dude, I mean, he's extended kind of... beyond YouTube. He's now like, he's a real celebrity. Yeah, no. Well, I feel like he was for, before. He's been around for years. He was on YouTube. YouTube. Yeah. yeah. That motherfucker was on Hollywood Undead songs and shit. Really? <laughs> yeah. What? Yeah, 100%. He's old school. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> fucking Hollywood Undead. Holy There's shit. There's a line where... where um, where um it, 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 What's the pronoun for Jeffrey Star? Hollywood Undead's like... The, the singer of Hollywood Undead's like, I would suck off Jeffrey Star even though he's got a dick. Dude. It's almost it's it's similar. He goes like, "You you can lick my surgery scar." Is a, is a line. <laughs> <laughs> like yo, oh that's man, kinda, that's kind of a hard hard verse. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> yeah, bars. Jeffrey takes that one. Bars, bars, bars. I'll find the spot for you guys. Yeah. Goddamn. It's an old one. All right, fellas. Sixteen <laughs> minutes in. What's enough, next? Enough politics. Why do you want to answer why you're sitting in the blackest of voids, Zach? <laughs> I'm in a I'm in a un, I'm in an unfinished basement right now. Literally looks like you're about to see the slender. Hold, hold on, hold on. No, don't, don't Does this help at all? Yeah, Is that, that's great, man. That, that didn't change anything, but Yo, this is so bad. You got on right there? Huh? <clears throat> got a blanket on there dude yeah i do nice my fucking so i got a kerosene heater this shit's so oh, lame i got a kerosene really? i got a kerosene fueled heater and the wick does it, does it pump is already saturated in tar and the wick will not light or if it lights it won't stay lit <laughs> so <laughs> i have to I'll buy a the wick dude how do you yeah. do that so i've been wearing a fucking electric blanket everywhere i go in this fucking house because the heater won't work because I don't feel like replacing the wick of a heater. I'm a huge electric blanket fan. I got one on my bed. I got one next to my computer. Fucking. In my you got multiple? Space. I got three, dude. I, Holy I go, I fuck. One. I just yeah. got one for Christmas and it's like a twin size. Mm. And like I just I just put it over myself in bed when I go to sleep or whatever. And like my cat sleeps on it. You know, it's nice. It's, I bet the cats love that dude. Oh fuck yeah, absolutely. I mean, you've seen everyone's seen cats where they're like, just in like a like shaft of sunlight. <laughs> I know what you mean. Yeah, they'll just lay in it. So that was like fun. when we when when you and me lived together, Jax. That yep. that porch, she would just sit right right at the door because the door had a window and it would shine light and heat directly onto her. Yeah. Dude, Fucking speaking of cats. living places, I'm moving out of my parents' house, boys, in half yes, a month. Yes, dude. Yep. It's been 11 so months. I, uh, at the beginning of the pandemic, you know, I was reading articles, and I had a one-week holiday scheduled. Um, and I was like, dude, for the week, I'm going to go back to my parents' house and, like, you know, see my brother, hang out with my parents, enjoy my vacay. Yep. <laughs> Halfway through that week, dude, corona just flies in. Fucking everything shuts down, and my work is just like, yeah, you're probably not coming back for like a year. <laughs> so Jesus one week Christ. vacation extended now to 11 months. Still here, <laughs> hardly leave the house. But on February 1st, I'm outie, dude. I'm really excited. Let's hell go, yeah, dude. Let's go. It's about time. And the place it, is nice. I, I can't wait to show you guys. Are you uh, so with you moving out? Are you gonna feel good about hanging out a little bit? Yeah, yeah, we'll definitely hang out. I love that you're, you're getting your. Uh, yeah, we'll be careful, of course. Yeah, um, I, yeah, I am getting vaccinated. You're tomorrow. getting vaccinated, dude. Which I can't believe you're <laughs> that high on the list. 
I'm, 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 dude, I'm literally top tier. Top tier, man. I'm, I'm written in the S tier, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Coming in quick with it. So I can't wait for the official vaccine review. That's going to be great. Content. Yeah. <laughs> I just die from it. Yeah, you're like, actually, it <laughs> like, gave me uh, and I died. I feel I way worse. As well. <laughs> <laughs> I, all I could say is, welcome to EB Games. <laughs> <laughs> like, what happened? He took the vaccine. All I could say is, welcome to EB Games. <laughs> no, dude, I just found I just found out some of my um, relatives I didn't realize are like Facebook anti-vax moms, and I'm just so disappointed. To learn dude, that. dude a lot of people are anti-vax now that Literally, COVID has popped up. Yeah, yeah. like uh, a good friend of ours like, that we play World of Warcraft with claims that they will not get vaccinated until they see <laughs> the long-term effects, which is not really a thing that vaccines have. Yikes! I didn't realize that. Uh, yeah, I'm sure you can thanks. guess. <laughs> hunty? <laughs> no, it's it's not Hunty and it's not me. So you can guess from there. Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay. Since we only play with four people. And, <laughs> and they don't listen to the podcast because quote podcasts are for gay boops. So. Oh oh, yeah. Okay. So yeah, you know who it is. If we, ever wanna, if we ever want to have a final episode of the lame dudes, I think we get this person on and just get our channel permanently banned. Oh, so I had this person on. We were gonna do a bonus <laughs> set. We say it. We're, I was gonna have a bonus set where we just talked about an Overwatch patch with that person and also Mitchell. Yeah. Uh-huh. And uh, they just like went on a weird rant about the Jews or something, <laughs> no. and like streamers who are Jewish, quote unquote Jewish. So I just didn't post it because I was just like, <laughs> yeah, like definitely too. did. <laughs> like, That's a really good call. For sure. What do you guys think about that strategy in general, though, for growing <clears throat> the channel? Like, I feel like doing one episode just about a topic is going to get a lot of clicks. You know, we post that clip and then maybe other people find the channel because they're looking for that, you know? Like, yeah. if we do a patch sum up mm-hmm. for a WoW patch or something, then they'll be like, oh, god damn, what else are these guys talking yeah. about? It's true, Ooh, like stinky feet. Hell yeah, like all sub. <laughs> <laughs> stinky feet. Yeah. I don't know when we've ever talked about stinky feet, but <laughs> I don't think I mean, we these have. guys talk about killing themselves a lot. I could subscribe to this. <laughs> I can relate. No. Nah. <laughs> that guy. Dude, Zach and I were talking about people who have killed themselves before the pod. Talking about Avicii. Oh yeah. What? You didn't know Avicii's dead? I know. I knew he was dead. I, he's a DJ, right? Yeah. Oh my god. Get out. What of is call. it? I do. <laughs> the fuck should I know? Uh, Siri played Levels by Avicii. <laughs> is, that a, is that a song? Is that a good song? That's one I... of my favorite songs, man. Oh, man. So he, yeah, I take it he killed himself. Though. Yeah. But exactly. Super song, hard. He killed, I didn't realize he killed himself. Super he killed hard. himself in his Dubai mansion, dude. Like, oh, yeah, so literally. keep in mind when this guy killed himself, he was at the height of his career, he was at the peak. Literally. He was the most famous musician in the world right now. And he just was like in his, he was depressed. He had depression. And the only, like, everyone was just like, oh, blah, 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 probably. Like, oh, you have, your life is so good. Like, oh, like, why would you be sad? Blah, 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 blah. You know? Yeah. And he's in his fucking mansion in Dubai. And he drank an entire bottle of wine, smashed the bottle, and slit his wrist till he fucking died. Holy yeah. Shit. So, so if someone says they're depressed and their life situation's better than you, don't fucking be like, shut up, pussy. Like, definitely, yeah. like, take wow, it seriously. Dude. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, dude, everybody. <laughs> Exhibit A, Avicii, <laughs> the largest musician <laughs> in the world at the time. <laughs> Good lord. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lost a legend, man. Really sad. He was just like, fuck this shit, and just fucking slit his wrists. Man. So sad, so sad. I was like, uh, you know, RIP, of course, but baller ass way to go. Yeah. Like, if I'm going to kill myself, I'm definitely doing it in my Dubai mansion. That was a ballsy ass way to fucking end it. $200 bottle of wine. Oh, yeah, oh absolutely. I'm, I'm cringing just thinking about that. You know, that shit was fucking yeah. thousands. Dude, I hate the, I hate the idea of, of like, Cutting your wrist open. Wrists. Something it's about so your wrist, brutal. man. I yeah. need the blood in there. It feels. <laughs> Do you guys ever watch I really House of Cards? I actually rely on that blood. <laughs> Do you guys ever watch House of Cards? Uh, I've seen the, the first, first few episodes. Two, first two seasons, yeah. 
Uh, maybe it was the third season, but there's like that politician in the show, and he attempts suicide, and and uh, fucking Kevin Spacey shows up to his apartment, and he like. He like do it. He, he he was like basically trying to get political influence over him or whatever, and he was basically like hands him a razor, and he's like. Next time, don't be a pussy and do it the right way. And like, sh- like symbols, like Holy do it this shit. way instead of this way. Like, that show's crazy. Dude, Kevin Spacey, fucking. Yo, Kevin, Kevin Spacey crazy. has fucked multiple children. So let's just get it out True. of the way real quick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Love how that need to be brought up. But. Yo, Kevin Spacey has fucked multiple teen twinks. Boys, I, I don't want to stretch out the, su- the suicide uh, topic too long, yeah, of course. but I got to know if you guys heard about this story. Um, do you guys know the YouTuber Apollo Legend who recently killed himself? No. No. Dude, this guy was kind of similar to Avicii, dude, on top of the world with his speedrunning YouTube channel. He would, like, you know, talk about, like, different speedrunning records and shit. So this is different from Dream. Yeah, different from Dream. Okay. And uh, he st- he started beefing with these like other stream other uh, YouTubers in the speedrunning scene, I guess. Damn, so like, a bunch dark, of people that have Viper. online influence or narcissists who make people kill themselves. <laughs> Surprise. Dude, it gets so bad. Okay. Oh, so okay. He's beefing with this guy, Dark Viper AU. You may have heard of him. He's like the big streamer uh-huh. from Australia. Yeah. And uh, they're, like, you know, posting, like, clickbait videos back and forth, like, saying, like, this dude's a scumbag, like, I don't know if he was cheating or whatever. I didn't really follow the drama, but, dude, so literally this Apollo Legend guy, he has millions of subscribers. His views, his videos all get, like, you know, five million. Yeah. He uh, he posts on his channel, like, uh, this is my suicide note, guys. I'd like to thank Dark, uh, Dark Viper AU for finally giving me the uh, courage to go through with it. Um, like I'm in pain my whole life. Like you guys, like should feel sorry for me. And uh, he posts that like on a YouTube video on his channel. Holy shit! They find they find him dead the next day. No wow. fucking god, dude! Yeah. Oh my god! Like, literally, dude, killed himself over YouTube drama and blamed the guy in his suicide note. Can you imagine being that guy now? That, yeah. Oh my god! Dude. The guilt. Dude, I uh, fuck that guy honestly, but also like. Yeah. Um, I mean, it's a scumbag move to do, right? To blame somebody for, like, you know. He was probably too mean to him, but, like, he was not, like, suicide. No, I mean, like, fuck both those guys on a realistic point of view. But, like, that's fucking, like... It's crazy, man. Yeah, like, posting that shit is, like... Go ahead. It just goes to show, like online bullying when it's like at the scale of millions of views like <clears throat> they people probably don't think about like what those thumbnails are actually doing to the people they're calling out mm-hmm. right it's like you know oh, it's just gonna be a good video but like yeah it actually no that's societal level gonna... humiliation mm-hmm. yeah because you have millions of people <laughs> yeah so that's what's going on in the speedrun community dude. Going damn down. shit it's dude insane. Yeah. I'm surprised because normally, like I, I see like a Keemstar tweet about shit like that, but I think, uh, I think Keemstar learned after Etika. No, oh, dude, Keem was all over this. I, I saw he was definitely. Blind. Oh, was he tweeting that shit? <laughs> yeah, he was. He was. He was. God, tweeting what a fucking <laughs> scumbag, dude. Course, dude. Keem... How is he still around? Because he's a piece uh, of he shit. He just made it through a lot of shit. It's it's, it's actually wild. Dude, it's just like shit just like floats off and then nothing sticks to him. Really? Keem, really Keem has made like literally like counting on one hand, but still too many people like pedophiles out of no evidence. Like there oh, yeah. was like yeah. there was like that guy who got like banned from YouTube for making like creepy pedo videos, and then Keem found this like or someone sent Keem this YouTube channel where it was like, oh, this guy looks like the pedophile. It's definitely him. And he's like, guys, this pedophile's back! And they start saying this random dude fucking death threats and shit. Yeah, yeah. And it's like, first of all, Keemstar, you have been banned on dozens of accounts and have come back under the same guise. So how are you literally any better than this fucking pedophile, frankly? Frankly, Second of all, second of all, you didn't even fucking get it right because you take no fucking time to like verify if that's actually the guy 
mm-hmm. and and you just ruin this guy's life. You know what I mean? Like, fuck Keemstar, but I don't even Didn't remember. Didn't Keemstar? <laughs> Didn't Keemstar swat someone and their dog got killed? Oh, uh, probably, I yeah. Story. We should no, swat dude, Keemstar wait. and his daughter gets killed, but I didn't say that. I meant I meant it in Minecraft, FBI. Oh, my. We, FBI. Should, we should swat I, Keemstar FBI? in Minecraft. I just realized that I, I want to attract a statement that wasn't Keemstar. That was that dude on Twitter, Ian Miles Chong. <laughs> oh, my God. He was also God. a giant loser, and... Uh, <laughs> I like the meme oh now. They somehow figured out that Ian Miles Chong, Ian Miles Ching Chong, uh, fucking. <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> He's never been to America. Why is this guy an influential voice on America? Yeah, so like, if you go on Twitter, every every response that Ian Miles Chong is, you've never been here. What the fuck are you talking about? You've never been here. <laughs> like, you, you don't know what it's like here. Yeah. That's so bad, dude. It's like a like half anyway. Asian dude and he like fucking he posts like stupid grifter shit all the time. Yeah. About like the libs. The epic libs. It's like a less honest Dave Rubin, if that's even possible. Yeah, he's like actually worse than like the dumbest fucking grifters. Yeah. Alright, should we move on from being angry about politics? Well wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Else? We shouldn't okay. because Ian Miles Chong or Saragon of Akkad? <laughs> who's what, worse? Like a boxing match? No, no, no. I just mean who's worse, Sargon or Ian? Yeah. For years, I would have said Sargon, but I feel like lately he's so uh, like out of the spotlight and like unimportant that I would say Ian is way more annoying. <clears throat> yeah, I, I would say so too. I, I think Ian's been in the public, the public spotlight a lot more. Sargon fell off hard. I think his heyday was like Anita Sarkeesian time. So. Right, right when he lost his election, he really just fucking fell out of his security. <laughs> that was so funny, dude. Why did he try running? <laughs> I know, like you're a fucking YouTube guy. Like, make more lateral moves before you go straight to fucking lawmaker. Like, what the fuck? He's supposed to be. He's like, come out and vote for me, guys. <laughs> that was like an example of like the overestimation of the power of the internet. Right. Because there's like people who are like, dude, the internet's fucking powerful, yo. And then they're like, mm-hmm. what if we just freaking read a, ran a freaking campaign on the internet? And then he lost. Yo. So we learned. Well, that's that, that's the reason we're not all socialists already, is because turns out just having a rose in your Twitter bio doesn't actually change any fucking policy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, having a rose in your Twitter bio means that you have political discords with. One percent of people in the U.S. and that's it, really. Pretty much. Yeah. All you have <laughs> solidarity. <laughs> Anyways, it's let's move on from fucking politics. This shit's fucking gay. Yeah. It's so depressing, and in, in like six days, none of this shit. You know, it's all gonna change. Yep. Just <clears> wait. <throat> Just wait for the next guy. We got a week, less than a week. Next topic. Me, man? What up? I saw you sipping on something, Hunty. There. What do you got? Oh, uh, dude, I poured some some vodka and some ginger ale mm. dude Tasty, you know, i'm so dude. excited i'm so excited to buy qua- white claws again dude i can't wait <laughs> you've been I'm claw, claw in a fucking year dude i'm i'm fiending dude, okay for claws. Dude, i hopefully hopefully we'll have a housewarming party at your place and i'll bring some yep. claws over please dude that would be awesome. that would actually be insane <laughs> i'm excited I'm, just always to watching, I'm always watching peek and boo queue up and he's always got a claw and i'm like oh. does he really yeah that's awesome <laughs> I respect that. <clears throat> I really, Honestly, really wish it, you boys. I feel a little better when I'm when I'm a little clawed Just up. You a know? little something in you. That probably yeah. is uh that's probably something you should look into, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, I'm straight up about to get up and fucking I was waiting for an opening in the conversation. I'm gonna go get some more booze too. Okay, dude. Yeah. Sweet. Don't let it don't let it You guys podcast, just feeling good after after being <laughs> clawed up. You you heard white claw and you're like, All right, I've been triggered. No, it's, it's all good. Time. You guys finish the, the topic. I'll the, get up the soon. Thirst. What are we talking uh, about? I got to piss Just also. <laughs> go for it, man. Yeah, go pee. What are you waiting for? We could just We're not on a uh... break! <laughs> Christ. Just go. No, no, just start your topic, and if I can leave, then I'll leave. I don't think we were talking about anything. <laughs> what should I Well, what, are you going to hang out for fucking 20 minutes while I go piss? <laughs> 
<laughs> well, I thought you'd go gotta piss, dude. <laughs> All right, I do God have to sake. piss pretty bad. I'm gonna bear it back. All right, beer go be. piss. My God. <laughs> I'm still recording though. So if okay, you say any going, if you say going. any slurs, I will be reporting it. Sure. Oh shit! <laughs> all right, Jackson, don't say anything. God, I fucking hate. We that all kid. know. <laughs> I just immediately talk so much shit about it. <laughs> you can still hear. No. <laughs> all right, now is the sad. God, episode. what a loser! Episode, dude. <laughs> Mom's basement. Imagine. <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> can't even afford a light. What the hell? <laughs> Turn something on in there, man. Dude, I stole all his hue bulbs when I fucking moved out. He didn't catch it. <laughs> all the Philips hue. Yeah, dude. He was talking about that actually. He's like, ah, oh, man, I wish I did. Should I get a Philips hue? I, I, I don't have any money, any anymore. Those are Jackson's. Yeah. Well, I, dude, I honestly scammed him because uh, when we first bought it, we split it like the price right down the middle. Because Philips hue, it's a fun product, but it is the biggest scam in the world. First of yeah. all, these are, they're like light bulbs. They cost like $45 a piece, right? They're insanely <laughs> expensive. And you, even if you have the bulbs, it's not enough, dude. You need the base, the dock that you plug into your router. And that's what? another problem. Yeah, that's another like 60 bucks probably. What so, the fuck? <laughs> so we, we bought the pack together, but, uh, and we had like, you know, two lights in my room, two lights in his room. Yeah. But there's only one base station, so when I moved out, I was like, yeah, I'm taking that base station. <laughs> that <laughs> so, Wait, so does he, have a, does he have a ba- uh, like a, a bulb? Just no base? Or did you take no, the bulb, no. too? So, no, I took the bulb. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, God, he kind of got fucked. Not that bad. <laughs> oh. Not that bad, though. <laughs> here he is, here he is. Be quiet, be quiet. Yo, anyways, shut the fuck up. Guy. Here he is. Anyways, yeah. Really Here he is. Be quiet, be quiet. Shut the fuck up. Love the man. Whatever the fuck he said about me, shut up. No, dude, you're praising me the whole time. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Yeah, definitely. We were like, dude, his mustache looks so good. Yeah, I bet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I gotta shave that. Is that a topic? Yeah, let's um, talk about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like right. Do I that. shave it? Here's the thing. Here's the thing. Now, first of all, the guy yesterday. Okay, so I just want to go bring it out of the way because me and Hunter were both in a Discord call yesterday where this guy who is a mutual friend of ours was like, dude, you'll never get fucking pussy. That guy has never gotten pussy and he needs to shut the fuck up. (laughs) Corona? Shut the fuck up. You've never gotten pussy. I don't give a fuck if you have a chest tattoo and you're in the military. (laughs) Because you're in a fucking Discord Dude. call simping for some fucking girl streamer who gets 30 views, so shut the fuck up. That's so good. That's, that's my call out to that, dude. Fuck that guy. I love that you said his name and everything. Yeah, yeah, we no. At, with that girl. 100%. Yeah, we should, actually, because she's actually nice. 30 views? She's nice, but she, she absolutely knows that every dude who likes her is a fucking orbiter. He's a fucking beta-ass orbiter. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck who says this dude gets pussy, because everyone in this Discord fucking server claims this guy gets pussy. He's in a fucking call waiting for this stupid streamer girl to fucking show up. He doesn't get a, a morsel of pussy. I love that he had his fucking he's so fake. sweatshirt on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, just enough to, sh- to show the Yeah, chest he's tat. trying to show off his t- chest tat. That's like why I dead. mentioned it, because he's got his fucking zip-up hoodie. Jackson, you know so how cool. you have eight of black zip-up hoodies? Uh, I mean, that's like your thing. You. That's like your well. Okay, I wasn't trying to be rude about it. I just like that's your article of <laughs> really? clothing. Me too. <laughs> that was your article of clothing. <laughs> it's just like the black I zip up on. hoodie. <laughs> I moved on actually from black zip, zip up hoodies to uh, black pullover hoodies. hoodies. Oh, thank God, yeah, dude! I some blue pullovers actually. Yeah, yeah, I got two of those. So. Black pullovers are nice, man. I'm wearing one right now so as we good. speak, but um, because I'm biased and I think they're cool, but. Uh, <laughs> like, <laughs> just imagine having that zipped up to a point where you can see your chest hair, but instead of chest hair, it's yeah. just a stupid fucking cross with angel wings tattooed on you. I'd fuck him. And you're like, yeah, I'm. I I get pussy all the time, but I'm in a fucking Discord call to pick up a girl from a different state who I've never met in person, <laughs> who's definitely not a narcissist. <laughs> well, let's not bring a girl into it. Goddamn. I mean, come on. We gotta go start a little channel. No, I just said she's definitely not a narcissist, and I think she's a nice woman. Yeah, of course. 
sure. We know that the exact code. <laughs> I actually realized right before we started the pod that he could use his uh, Yeti mic for Discord and the pod audio. Yeah, so I figured out why I thought that, Jax. So in OBS... Is that your video camera? No, yeah, so in OBS, if you have Discord open first... um. <laughs> Uh, or no, if you have OBS open first, you can't use your camera in Discord. Yeah. But I would rather yeah. capture really? my camera as a frame within Discord with all of you guys together. So I just ass- I I must have just assumed that was the same for my microphone, which is why I was using my headset mic for uh, you know, Discord and my Blue Yeti for recording. But I can use my mic for both apps. That's pretty fucking cool. Sorted. From a from a tech <laughs> from a MKBHD standpoint. <laughs> do you guys have any predictions um, you guys have probably seen the crazy guest that MKBHD has had recently right who was that see, who, who did he have <laughs> he had Elon Musk he had Obama he's had uh, he had Kobe obviously before he died RP. he had Bill Gates anyway he's had fucking everybody so who who is going to be the next MKBHD big guest dude let me ask you this be? who is MKBHD Marquez Brownlee, dude, come on. No clue who that is. Hold on a second. I'm just Get gonna. This, I'm gonna text you. I'm gonna text <laughs> Hunter. I'm gonna Discord DM a phrase to you, and then okay. I want you to just say if when I say this phrase, if you know who I'm talking about. Sure. <laughs> it's a good challenge. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no. No idea. Oh wait. Yes, I do. <laughs> I'm gonna, yeah, I'm, I'm right. gonna drop. I'll, I'll drop a photo in the DM. <laughs> no, I, ah! I, I, I... <laughs> That's so does this, funny. Does this answer your question? What? What I just sent you? I don't know. I don't know if it does. <laughs> R- rivet, riveting podcast content. Nobody can see it. <laughs> it's just us being racist in DMs. <laughs> oh, oh no! What's his name again? Hold Marcus. on, I'm gonna I'm gonna send you a link to his Google Images, and then you can just tell me if you, he's a YouTube guy. I already know. I know exactly. He's, he's the OG yeah. YouTube tech. <laughs> he's the YouTuber. OG black YouTuber guy. <laughs> yes, tech guy, of course. That's not yeah. funny. I see him all over trending. Yeah. Yeah. No. 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 Like. like okay. So like, a, as much as we just like. We're like pretty subtly racist, not very subtly actually. Not subtly. Uh, pretty pretty racist or whatever, and like a fucking asshole starts this dude. Like he's absolutely the one fucking tech guy who I actually trust on YouTube. Wow. I tr- I trust him, but honestly, dude, his videos lately have been they're just boring to me. Yeah, they have. Like he, there's not much to talk about. Like maybe no, he he'll yeah. make like a good like CES video. Yeah. But, like, yeah, he's just, like, he, they're really well-produced. Like, you know, I like the guy, but I just, like, can't even get through his video. And I just want to clarify, I'm not actually racist towards this dude. I'm just being, I was oh, making a joke. <laughs> I was making Shout a joke. Out. Shout out to Marquez. <laughs> they can't see what I sent Hunter, so. <laughs> no, Good. everyone's just going to assume it's the worst thing possible. Yeah, hey, no, guys, no. I, 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 your assumptions in the I literally below. said I said something racist. I did not really. It wasn't actually. Racist. It wasn't anything. No, he just sent me a picture of the guy. Yeah, that was so literally isn't this, it. Isn't this a handsome fellow? Yeah. And I was like, yeah. Boy, Yo, Bitcoin, Bitcoin. MKBHD, get us on the right podcast. Now. We're not racist. Please, away from podcast. We need on. We need on. Yeah, actually, though, it's a pretty good pod. Boys, pretty good pod. Uh, good pod. Bitcoin just crashed recently after going up for like months. I yeah. might do a live Bitcoin <laughs> buy right on the pod, depending Dude, on, the, on the price. Dude, that's so funny. <laughs> Yo, Dude, I might buy some. I posted a tweet the other day. It was like searching Pornhub playlists. Like, you know how, you know on Pornhub you can like search by like video. It's like, it's like video, like keyword, porn star, or playlist. Like you can search for specific playlists. <laughs> okay. I made a tweet. I was like, "I'm searching. I'm searching under playlists on Pornhub for Bitcoin to one million, oh, and I'm just yeah. beating off like a madman." That's so funny, right. cause like, 
we we know a couple people who like are actively like Bitcoin to one million people, and it's yeah. just like it's the most soy thing ever, and that's coming from me. It's the most right, that's soy that's thing. the best way to describe it. I'm fucking doing it. I'm pulling the trigger. You're I'm buying Bitcoin. Bitcoin yeah. I, I, well, I'm sorry. I just called you soy, but like. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> it's it's Perfect. definitely a pump and dump scheme. That's all I'm gonna say. It's a long term pump and dump. All right. Current price. <laughs> yeah. 30, the next wave. Uh, Thirty eight thousand six hundred. That's buying, dude. fucking insane. Wait. Buy what, that shit. what 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 are you doing? How does this work? I'm on Robin Hood. Not enough buying power. Come on. For, so here's my thing. Bitcoin as a technology, it's the shittiest crypto. You should buy. Everybody knows about. I know, Ethereum. but you should buy. Don't, t- don't say Ethereum. You should buy Litecoin. Don't buy Ethereum. Ethereum's fucking stupid. Buy Litecoin. It's done, dude. I'm a Bitcoin owner. Holy shit. That's so I stupid. I own 0.00126% of a Bitcoin. Let's Hell go. yeah. Holy shit. Dude. Okay, so this is going to be a market yeah. mystery. This is when so I. So one, you own one point two thousandth of a bitcoin <laughs> yes <laughs> Dude, you're still close that's though, awesome um yeah so when, when you know in two years we'll be able to reference this moment as the worst financial decision in my life <laughs> how much what, what is that equal to in uh, u.s doolers 50 bucks guys Holy shit. guys welcome to mad money with zach landry uh, i'm filling in for jim kramer today and uh, I just want to, I don't have any investment advice. I just want to brag about the time that I bought Litecoin at 100 bucks and then got it to 200 bucks and then made double my money and yeah. sold it and then it crashed and it never did any better. Genius of investing, dude. What's yeah, it was based. I went from, I went from 200 to, I went from 200 to 400. That's all I'm saying, bro. Wow. Dude. For me, that Probably was life. Still- that was a great fucking month for me. I was like, yo, I'm fucking ordering Indian food. <laughs> <laughs> I'm ordering the expensive shit. I'm getting some butter dude, Robin, Robin Hood is too fun, man. It's a little bit too gamey for me. Just watching all the graphs go up and down, dude. Like, so you do everything on Robin Hood? Yeah. You do crypto on Robin Hood? Yep. Oh, so I used to buy stocks on Robin Hood, but I never did. I never did crypto. Is it? Is this it is the the exactly the same? Owned, actually, no idea. Oh, okay. No clue. Cause yeah, for me it was like I I downloaded like I went on Coinbase. I made an account. I got like I generated a wallet, and then yeah. I had to like you know it's a lot of work. Where with like I yeah. bet Robinhood it's just like fucking simple, but super easy. Two the thing with crypto buy. is I'm still really worried about just like there's no laws about it they can still yeah. like they can still just be like oh crypto crashed actually we're not going to give you how much money you had in crypto because we don't have that you know what i mean that shit right. still well, sketches me out yeah there's no law. Uh, no, I... it's not wrong to do it so they're going to get away with it because that's how the, our fucking world works at this point I'm, I'm totally with you in not actually trusting it. That's why I literally only have a hundred dollars in Robinhood. Like, it's just a little thing I fuck around with, but I'm not like. That was always my sh- with Robinhood. I never put in. I think I had like, on Coinbase, I bought some Litecoin for like a hundred bucks or two hundred bucks or something. But on Robinhood, I the most expensive stock I ever bought was I bought one share of Apple, and it's like. The second that it went up, I sold it because I was just like, it's too much. It was before the split, so it was so much fucking. It was like 500 bucks for a share. Like, I put a lot of fucking money down on this share. And I basically, it got to like 575 or something, and I was like, fuck that. And I fucking, boop, sold it. Because I was like, I was like, I'm not fucking with $500. I'm not, I'm not in a position where I can handle playing with that kind of money. No, that's that's way too much to be fucking around. But, with. but I I want to get back into Apple it like, with like cheaper stocks. You know what I mean? Like I think don't buy fucking Apple or Alphabet, like or like well, even like Snapchat. Buy like some cheap shit. Well, dude, I bought Apple, but I just bought a fraction of a, a tiny ass percentage of a share, and it's up eight point eight percent since I bought it. So I'm making bank off Apple, dude. <laughs> One thing I do want to no point out. 
One thing I want to point out, boys, um, and I'm hoping this is in one of those two lost casts that will never see the light of day because it's <laughs> probably my most embarrassing uh, <laughs> moment on the pod ever, was um, we were talking about stocks that episode as well. And I extremely confidently um, told everybody who listened to the pod to invest in CD Projekt Red <laughs> oh, <laughs> right, that's be- right before Cyberpunk came out. Yeah. You buy, you buy Fucking this genius. Stock, it, the game's going to be a hit, and uh, it's the freest money ever. <laughs> that's more to the game Dude, that's really so over. smart. All the headlines are like, CD Projekt Red loses half its value over <laughs> as game tanks. I'm like, no. Yo, good thing we got 60 subs. <laughs> That's so good. Yeah, so oh my god, did, that's luckily, so funny. I didn't follow my own advice, but if anybody did, I'm so sorry. That was the worst advice. Ever. <laughs> I doubt it. <laughs> that just goes to show. It just goes to show that <clears throat> you know, something you think is such a sure lock in investing, it never is. They would have lost money before is. the game even came out because of yeah. all the fucking delays. Yeah, it's 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 just so funny that I was so confident about that. So here's my thing: <laughs> if you're if you're going to, let's talk about the launch of this game, because we haven't done a pod yeah. since, and we've talked about it. I think we've talked about that game a lot, right? We were hyped for it. I bought it day one. So. Yeah, yeah. I was going to buy it day one, and then I heard how, like, fucking shitty it still was. Um, like, just, like, really buggy, which maybe you have some anecdotes about? Yeah, I mean, it's, it runs like shit, uh, on my, even on my, like, decent graphics card. Mm-hmm. Um and it it is buggy as shit but almost the most disappointing thing isn't even the bugs it's like the game design dude like i was expecting like a gta-esque world where you can yeah. just run around and like fuck people up and like get chased by the cops Same. and the mechanics don't work very well for that type of gameplay it's uh it's way more focused on like you know, doing story missions and like interacting with the whole vibe of Night City, which is really good. I mean, the city is great, but yeah, it's just not as fun of an open world as I was hoping for. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's see, so my thing was just like, it came out and I was like, I think I'm going to buy it when it comes out. Right. And I was like, but I'm, I'm a little worried that there's going to be issues with it. And like a lot of people are going to say it's bad. And sure enough, like, people are posting videos of, like, how fuck... I mean, the game doesn't fucking run on consoles, practically. They've released yeah, it, it for, for PS4 and Xbox, and PS or Sony is issuing fucking refunds, and they've pulled it off the fucking store. That's you know? the craziest like, thing. I that's can't even insane. think of another game that got pulled. So, like... Yeah. We've put so much faith in this philosophy. This was a big thing that people talked about a ton uh, in in gaming on, like, Reddit and shit. Is like, they're like, don't fucking release it. Don't rush a game out. Just delay it till it's good. We have this game that's been delayed literally forever. This game got announced, like, over a decade ago. Yeah. And I think it's literally changed in concept since then. I'm not really sure exactly because I didn't really give a fuck back then when it got announced. I'm, I was in like probably fifth grade or something. But like, <laughs> I don't remember what year it got announced. But like, it's so fucking old. And they're like, oh, we're just trying to make it the perfect world and the perfect game. Blah, 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 blah. You know? Yeah. And it comes out and everyone's still like, this game fucking sucks. <laughs> Like, nah, I didn't buy it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Nah. Long story short, did not buy it. I looked, at, I looked at the broad picture that I just explained, and I just said, nah, I'm not going to buy it. No, yeah. I think when it's, it's, right when it's 10 bucks on a Steam sale, I'll buy it. 20 bucks, maybe? I'll go 20. I'll go 20. I'll give them that much. Yeah. Is that a Bethesda it's game? No, CD Projekt sure. Red. CD Projekt. <laughs> yeah, I forgot. I thought CD Projekt wasn't was the developer, not the publisher. Have you ever seen a, a company like fall from grace as fast as CD Projekt, dude? They were used to be Reddit's it was golden so, child. But dude. that's how you know that Reddit's fucking stupid, because yeah. they base their entire fucking gaming life around fucking The Witcher Three and thinking that CD Projekt Red, because they released The Witcher Three on CD Projekt Red, that Cyberpunk yeah. was going to be amazing. In reality, uh, it was yeah. fucking shit. 
<laughs> like the whole time they're like the PR is like, well, we're not going to release it until it's ready. You know, we won't release an incomplete product. Just all, literally meaningless. Like it's just because it was still mess. a complete incomplete pro- product, like yeah. garbage. So, so in your experience, since you're the only person who owns the game, um, mm-hmm. what would you say your opinions are on it? Uh, uh, it was unplayably buggy to the point where like i literally was like okay i'm just gonna wait like months for the patch to even do my playthrough which i still plan on doing eventually so you have how how much should you play before you stop playing i'm like three hours in like literally i barely got holy fucking shit I give 45 FPS. Oh I'm like, what the fuck? That's <laughs> insane. I have, I have you don't have a bad TV. system. I know. I know. Oh, it's man. so bad. Anyway, so instead of that, I've been playing this, this this other game, Hades. Have you guys heard of this one? I this have, yeah. Really yeah. Nice game. Dude, I heard I've it's been sick. Playing it on Switch. I've been playing Switch with my brother. It's like, Hunty, <laughs> you would actually, it would trigger you because it is like Torghast the game, dude. Oh, it's literally hell yeah. exactly like Torghast in World of Warcraft. <laughs> That's no. funny how similar they are. But yeah, you like, you know, it's a run. You try to get through the different layers of hell and uh, you pick up different randomized powers from various, like, uh, Greek oh, gods. Shit. Yeah, cool. but it's actually super fun. The combat feels great. It looks For like combat. Diablo to me. Is that wrong? Totally. It's Diablo combat without any gear. So it's more of a roguelite that, like, when you die, you reset and you lose everything. Okay. <clears throat> hmm. But, dude, I would Shit. totally recommend it. It's pretty cheap, and it's, like, it's probably the funnest game I've played this year. Interesting. Wow. <laughs> Yeah, yeah I'll check that out. I've heard a lot of good things about it. It's a good ass game. <clears throat> but hey, uh, boys, it does. Uh... Oh, go ahead, go ahead. I was just gonna say it does get a little boring after I've done like two tour yeah. runs. I'm like, fuck, this is like the same guy <laughs> gameplay loop, just randomized powers. Yeah, that'd be tough for me. <clears throat> All right, boys, I actually gotta get going. Yeah, this we're a good, good pod, we're at fifty seven minutes, so we're we're basically All right, done. We can here. wrap it up. Yeah, yeah, we can wrap it we up. We never Cheers. got to talk. We didn't talk about. Uh, wandavision which is that marvel show coming out i'm excited for it. but you guys don't even fucking oh, like shit. marvel so I'm fuck gonna go marvel it. shut the fuck up <laughs> go start a know, fucking marvel podcast dude I know. <laughs> marvel podcast where we all wear masks because we want to show our face on the pod Ooh. That's right. is yeah, that a is that a direct lame dude. dude's call out yeah rip it man <laughs> <laughs> anyways i'm the superhero of the pod yeah you're the mf doom of the pod all right, boys. Cheers, boys. He wears a boy, boy, West Coast mask. <laughs> anyway, all right. Peace out, boys. Peace. Take it easy.